the world leaders stop this crime now in the state of Israel. So what happens? What happens to the Jews that came after 48? But they, they, they say that the, the gentleman told me this taxi driver who's, uh, who's either himself a refugee or a descendant of the refugees who took to Palestine after the Zionist Revolution. Stop the forcing the state of Israel. Stop the proportional between the, the Jewish, Arab, and Palestinians. No favor of the Jews. He's a happy to send the Jewish Palestinians the ones that came before for the Right? The state generous. The state generous. The state generous. So you have to push and represent the Jews. Or should you decide what will happen to those who came after 48? Should they be allowed to stay? Or if they're allowed to stay, obviously they have to recognize the Arabs as the leaders of Palestine, as the rulers of Palestine. We're not allowed to rule them. They can be Jewish members of parliament. Like there are Jewish members of parliament. There's a Jewish member of parliament in the Iranian parliament. But they're not allowed to be a majority. Yeah, but let's say. Yeah, but, so, so let's say there's a child born there now, who was born to a parent who was born there. That was born there that, that was also born there after 48. Who was born to a, a parent who came after 48. Okay. So that's a, a third generation. It's very hard for them because they're not responsible for what happened to their grandparents. But, but sadly they may have to leave, yeah. Ha where would they go? There's, there's, there's millions of square kilometers of land in, uh, we're not talking about Alaska, but I mean, there's uh, Birbijan in... Uh, in uh, south, it's not Siberia, like half Siberia, it's south. So it's problems with China. Putin has given permission for any Jew who wants to leave the Holy Land, to, to leave it, to leave the, the Zionist state, any Jew who wants to leave, he can come to Bilibijan. To, to Stalin and uh, the tried but, to set it up as an autonomous But this, I mean, it sounds like, ago. it almost sounds so like, a, hmm? it sounds like ethnic cleansing now. I mean, it sounds harsh, but, but the fact is, what was done to the Palestinians, that, that was not ethnic cleansing. There's like 500 I'm, I'm not, villages I'm and not arguing. I'm, I'm, I mean, why should you, why should you punish me and people now, sadly, for what? For their forefathers, so you mean, no, I mean, if you, if you were saying that all of the people that are living there and all of that, and then they'd create a state together, I could say, okay, you know what, you're talking about peace and equality, but what you're talking about is, is taking children that were born there and parents that were born there and saying, I'm sorry, but you have to leave. That to me, I'm sorry, that's a that, whoa, and you, not only that, but where do they go? That logic, that logic is the same logic. That, I'm not criticizing what you're saying, but it's the same. I have a logic that, that um, the, the, the primarily the right wing, social right wing, for want of a different, I don't want to choose labels, the, right, the people pro settlement in the occupied territories, well, the extra occupied territories, the whole lot of occupied, but the, the West Bank, it's a, it's a social logic they use. Sharon said after they took in the Six Day War the West Bank and the East Jerusalem, Sharon said, you have, to, you have to go and make settlements up on the high places, on the tops of the hills, and to, 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 to